Controversial. Well, we're about to introduce you to a woman who I don't think would be all that intimidated by the haka. Mm -hmm. Because when you think of mixed martial arts fighters, you don't expect to see a mother of two battling it out in the ring, but that's exactly what Beck Hyatt does for a living. It's a sport more often associated with men, of course, the physical grappling, kicking and punching, but 23-year-old Beck has just become the first Australian woman to enjoy to join the Invicta Fighting Championships, an elite group that brings together some of the best female fighters in the world. Beck's now looking forward to her first match-up in January. And Beck Hyatt has taken a break from training to join us from Brisbane. Beck, thanks for your time. I've got to say, it seems incongruous a little. Mother of two and cage fighter. How does your family feel about your line of work? Uh, they were very surprised, actually. Um, I've always been a tomboy growing up and always competing in sports. So um, when I started MMA, they weren't, they weren't too surprised. They think the sport's fitting to me. So See what happens. Now, Beck, how significant is your signing with the world's premier female MMA group? I mean, that's, that's a first for an Australian. Um, yeah, it's definitely the first, um, I'm the first Australian female to go over to America to fight, so um, it's pretty exciting and um, I can't wait to, to prove how tough us Aussies are. Beck, has it been a difficult journey as a female in such a male dominated sport? Um, it's definitely hard to begin with, but um, once you have a few fights and people actually know that you don't really fight like a girl, um, we don't slap and pull hair, we actually come to fight and we're quite technical. Um, and most of the time us girls win fight of the night because we're, we're so explosive and um, exciting. We actually come to fight and we come to finish fights, so um, the public are definitely warming up to it. And Beck, just on that technique, you've described what you do as physical chest, almost stylized violence, I think you called it. It sounds to me very much like a, an art form, what you do. Uh, it's most definitely an art form. Um, people seem to think it's just street fighting in a cage, but it's definitely not. Um, it's very technical and it's very, um, it is definitely like chess. There's a move and there's a counter to everything. So um, it's actually, you can't just focus on one art. You've got to learn a lot. You can't just do boxing. You've got to learn, got to, learn how, you, how to do jiu-jitsu, wrestle, um, kick, punch, everything. So yeah, it's definitely not easy. Uh, now, Beck, it might be art. Uh, as you describe it. However, um, to do this particular form of art, you may get injured. Any serious injuries so far? Uh, no, actually. Um, in my first fight, I got kicked in the head and I got knocked out, but um, I was sparring two days later. I wasn't injured at all. There's actually more injuries in football and, um, and soccer than there are at MMA. It's very, very superficial injuries. Despite the injury risk, would you encourage more women to get involved in the sport? Most definitely. Um, MMA is the best thing that's happened to me. Um, it boosts your confidence and it's definitely great for um, self-defence and, and things like that, especially against sexual, sexual assault and stuff because people don't want to play in your guard when you know how to armbar someone. Absolutely. And Beck, is it a little bit about physical intimidation too? I've noticed there are lip, a lip ring and uh, quite a few tattoos. Uh, I had these the piercings and tattoos before I started training, so um, not many girls do because they're a pain in the butt to, to pull in and take, put back in after each fight. So um, it's, I'm definitely probably one of few that um, have piercings and tattoos, and I think that's why I stand out, because I'm different. Well, Beck, best of luck for your next fight on January 5. Let's hope the amazing injury run continues. Thank you. There you go, mother and cage fighter, quite yeah. extraordinary. It is extraordinary. Gee, she, she presents herself very well. And she does. She's a very striking looking person, isn't she? She's certainly... Very talented. I learnt a lot about that sport in that interview. I didn't know anything no, about it. No, yeah. Good, Good on her. For, gee, she's got courage to get in there. Absolutely. You make the kids breakfast in the morning and then head off to the cage. Wow. It's very incredible. unusual. Well done. Excellent. Thanks, Brad.